Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Kayo po ay nakikinig sa programang Radyo EMI, Facebook Live, Tinig ng Biyaya ng Diyos, sa paglilingkod ng Emmanuel Ministry Institute. Ako po si Bishop Emmy, ang inyong tagapagturo. Kasama ko po si Pastora Joe Domingo. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Para po sa inyong mga kahilingan sa panalangin, mari po kayong mag-comment o mag-PM dito sa EMI Facebook. Kagalakan po namin may panalangin ang inyong mga kahilingan. Bago po tayo magpatuloy, narito po si Bishop Emmy para sa isang paanyaya. Malugod po namin kayong inaanyayahan na mag-aral sa Emmanuel Ministry Institute para sa mga programa ng pag-aaral, Certificate in Home Bible Study, Certificate in Church Ministry, Diploma in Biblical Studies, Associate in Ministry, Bachelor of Ministry, Certificate in Master Studies, Master in Applied Church Ministry, Pastors Academy. Ang pag-aaral sa EMI ay libre o tuition free. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, bisitahin po ang aming website www.emi.ph o mag-comment o kaya'y mag-PM dito lang sa EMI Facebook. Samahan po ninyo kami sa gabing ito sa pag-aaral ng Salita ng Diyos. Muli, narito ang ating tagapagturo, ang direktor ng Emmanuel Ministry Institute, Bishop Emmy. Pakibati po ang katabi ng two thumbs up. You are? Sarito, blessed and highly favored. Amen. Atin pong ipagpapatuloy ang ating series sa Book of Psalms chapter 91. 91 verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Let's read them together. Ready? One, two, three. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, look up here. Let's see the diagram for the last time. See right there? God's protection plan is in the context of righteousness by faith and covenant of grace. Yun po yung nasa gitna. Chapter 15, chapter 16 of the book of Genesis, God's protection plan, the protection plan of God is in the context of righteousness by faith and covenant of grace. For us to enjoy God's protection plan, you must learn to practice His righteousness and the fullness of His grace. You must learn it. It's not an option. It is not even a suggestion. It is imperative. If you do not understand righteousness by faith and the fullness of grace, you cannot enjoy God's protection plan. You will always be begging, please, please, Lord, protect me. Don't say please. It is part of the contract. If you are righteous by faith, and if you are in the fullness of His grace, you don't say, God, please protect me. You should be praying like this. God, thank you that you are always protecting me because I am righteous by faith, and I am in the fullness of His grace. Can you say amen? amen? Of course, we learned a lot on this truth, knowing that the covenant of grace is the new covenant, and we call it a better covenant. Please remember that. I may be very repetitive, but I believe that repetition brings retention. I believe that. That's why we have to say it again, again, and again, until it sinks in, until you will never, never forget Until you always remember that you are no longer under the old covenant, you are now in the new covenant, call it a better covenant, and it is in the fullness of His grace. Amen? God's protection plan is not for sale, so you cannot buy it. No matter how much you want, it is not for sale. God's protection plan is not a reward, so you cannot earn it. God's protection plan is free. It is free in the context of righteousness by faith and covenant of grace. 
Always remember that. God's protection plan is pre in the context of righteousness by faith and covenant of grace. Let me ask you this question. Do you believe you are righteous by faith? Do you believe? Yes. Dalawa lang ang option niyo. Either you are righteous by works or you are righteous by faith. The Bible teaches that we are righteous by faith and not by works. Now, meron kayong option. Partial grace, full grace. We are now in the full grace. So this is the covenant where we can enjoy God's protection plan. Again, not for sale, not a reward. It is absolutely, completely free of charge to those who are part of the covenant of grace. Are you part of the covenant of grace? So don't beg for it. Believe it. Claim it. Declare it in Jesus' name. Grace from the Greek word charis. What is charis? Unmerited favor and undeserved kindness. We do not deserve, but yet we receive it anyway. What we deserve is punishment, death, and hell. Sabi po ng Bible sa Psalm 51 verse 5, ipinanganak tayo po na makasalanan. Romans 3.10, Romans 3.23, tayo po'y namuhay bilang makasalanan. Romans 6.23, ang kabera ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. So anong deserving natin? Death. That's what we deserve. We do not deserve life. We do not deserve blessing. We do not deserve favor. Don't kid yourself. We do not. But we receive it anyway. Because we call it grace. Grace is undeserved and unmerited. When you begin to realize this, you will begin to walk in the newness of life. You don't beg. You're not a beggar. So you stand by faith and say, God, I claim it. It rightfully belongs to me as a child of God. Why? Sasabihin sa iyo ng kaisipan mo, bakit? Sino nagbigay sa iyo ng karapatang angkini ng pag-iingat ng Diyos? Who do you think you are? Ah, oh, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5.21 So pagka ikaw ay hinahamon ng kaaway sa kaisipan mo, sinasabi, Who do you think you are? Ano sa palagay mo? Bakit, bakit ganyan inaangkin mo ang pagpapala? Ah, inaangkin ko ang pagpapala sapagkat ako'y anak ng Diyos. Ako ay matuwid sa harapan ng Diyos. Are you righteous before God? Are you sure? Are you sure? Ephesians 4.24 Put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. I hope you will remember that for a very, very long time. We call it the stamp of favor. We call it the stamp of favor. Tinatakang ka na ng pabor ng Diyos. Whatever you do, whatever undertakings na gagawin mo, be it study, be it work, be it business here and there, you can claim it and say, God, I claim your provision. I claim your protection. I claim your favor because I am blessed and highly favored. Every time you confess it, don't get tired. When you wake up in the morning, you say, I am Charito. Before you sleep at night, you say, I am Charito. In the middle of the day, in the middle of the street, in the middle of the hour, say, I am Charito. Always confess it. You always say it. Why? Because the principle is, you believe, you declare. You declare, you believe. Can you say amen? Now, let's move on. Psalms 91 verse 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Let's read together. Verse 2. Ready? 1, 2, 3. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. One more time. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him 
I will trust. The word say comes from the Hebrew word amar, which means declare or publish. It means that you declare openly, publicly, and boldly. So you must say it. Hindi lang sa isip. You have to declare it. Amar. You have to declare it. You have to open your mouth and say, I will say, I will amar, I will openly, boldly, publicly declare. The people will hear. I will hear. When you say something, you hear it. When you say something, people hear it. So you say with your mouth, declare I say I will say, I will declare, I will amar, I will declare of the Lord. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my God. In Him, I trust. Not just believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. Not just think in your mind, speak your mind, speak it out. You have to say it. That's the word amar. You believe in your heart, you declare with your mouth. Don't just believe, declare. Don't just declare, believe. Mahalaga po yun. Declare and believe. Believe and declare. Hindi pwedeng kulang. Hindi pwedeng believe lang, walang declaration. Hindi naman po pwedeng declaration lang na walang believing. You have to have both. Para magkaroon po ng production. Kailangan po ng dalawang similya, the sperm cell and the egg cell, para magkaroon po ng birth, birth of protection, para magkaroon po ng birth. Kinakailangan po magkaroon ng pagsasama ang confession and believing. Hindi yung pwedeng confession lang without believing. Hindi pwedeng believing lang without declaration. You have to put that together. Believe in your heart and declare in declare it with your mouth. Let me show you the scripture. Romans 10, 9 and 10. That if you confess with your mouth, confess with your mouth and believe. Look at this. If you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, look at this, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Anong result? You will be saved. Ang Greek word ng saved po dyan, sotso. S-O-Z-O Sotso Same word Nang ibig sabihin ay Delivered Healed Same word So if you need deliverance When you are in trouble When you need protection You have to believe Not only in your heart You have to confess it with your mouth The principle is Heart and mouth You have to believe in your heart You have to confess with your mouth and you will be sotso. You will be healed. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. You will be delivered. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. You will be sotso. You will be saved. Look at verse 10. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yung word na salvation po dyan, soteria. Same word, provision. Healing, salvation. Look up here. Protection. Yun ang topic natin, di ba? Protection. God's protection plan. Ang word na protection ay part po ng soteria. Soteria is protection. Soteria is salvation. Ang tanong ko sa inyo, if you are saved from trouble, yun po ay protection? If you are saved from calamity, yun po ay protection? All inclusive ang word na soteria. All inclusive ang word na sotso. Pero ito pong inclusion ng soteria at sotso is in the context of believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth. Principle po yan na tinuturo sa atin ng scripture. In fact, the word confess from the Greek word homo logeo. Confess is homo logeo. Homo is same. Logos word. Put them together, same word. We will confess same word. This is the word of God. Sinabi ba ng Bible na tayo po'y magaling na? 
na natanong ko po kayo, sinabi ba ng Bible na tayo magaling na? O gagaling pa lang? O, subukan natin. Lord, pagalingin mo po ako. So, nananalangin ka base sa paniniwala na magaling ka na o hindi pa? Hindi pa. Sa so, mga katwid, we are praying in doubt instead of praying in faith. Instead of saying, God, pagalingin mo po ako, you should change your prayer. Instead of praying like that, you say, God, I thank you that by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. So I claim it, I declare it in Jesus' name, I am healed. Pero pastor, may nararamdaman pa ako. Good. Pero pastor, nakikita ko may sakit pa ako. Good. At least gumagana ang mata mo. Gumagana ang pakiramdam mo. Pero ang Turo sa atin ng Bible, we will confess not what we see. We will confess not what we feel. What do we confess? What we believe. Do you believe the word? If you believe the word, homologeo, you speak the word. Despite of what you see, despite of what you feel. Hindi ba pastor pagsisinungaling yan? Na pag sinabi mong magaling ka na pero hindi pa pala. Hindi ba pagsisinungaling yan? I'll tell you the truth. Yung ikaw ay merong sakit, yung ikaw ay may nararamdamang sakit, yan po ay fact. Ang lahat ng facts nagbabago. Yung sinasabi mo na ikaw ay magaling na, hindi po yun fact. Yun po'y truth. Question. Look up here. Yun po bang statistical facts 10 years ago, iba na po ngayon? Exactly. Sa makatid, ang facts po ba nagbabago? Ang ibig sabihin ng facts, information. Nagbabago po ba ang mga information? Yes. Pero ang truth, hindi. Sabi ng Bible, thy word is truth. John 17, 17. Psalm 119, 89. Your word is forever settled in heaven. The word of God will never change. So when you speak the word, homo logeo. I am not saying what I am seeing. I am not saying what I am feeling. I am saying what I believe. I believe by His stripes, I am healed. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikipag-aralan sa amin. Ang aralin ay ipagpapatuloy bukas dito sa Radyo EMI Facebook Live. Para sa mga katanungan, mag-PM lang dito sa EMI Facebook. Bago po tayo magpaalam, muli narito po si Bishop Emmy para sa isang paanyaya. Inaanyayahan kita na tanggapin ang Panginoong Jesus sa iyong puso bilang Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas. Sumunod ka sa panalangin ito. Panginoong Hesus, ako po'y makasalanan. Hindi ko kayang iligtas ang aking sarili. Ako'y mapapahamak ng hiwalay sa iyo. Ako po'y naniniwala na ikaw ay namatay at muling nabuhay. Umakyat sa langit at muling babalik. Patawarin mo po ako sa lahat ng aking kasalanan. Tinatanggap kita sa aking puso bilang Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas. Amen. Amen. Malugod po namin kayong inaanyayahan na dumalo sa EMI Sunday Services sa mga oras na 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., at 7 p.m. Sa EMI Center, NLEX, Valenzuela Exit, Paso de Blas, Valenzuela City. Our worship services are open for all. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, maaari ninyong i-browse ang EMI Facebook o bisitahin ang aming website www.emi.ph. Si Bishop Emmy ay sumulat ng mahigit na isandaang booklets. Para po sa karagdagang impormasyon at iba pang mga produkto ng EMI, bisitahin ang Facebook ng Charito Shop 
at makipag-ugnayan kay Ms. Cham Domingo. At sa aming pagwawakas, muli ang programang Radyo IAMI Facebook Live. Tinig ng biyaya ng Diyos ay paglilingkod na ginagawa ng Emmanuel Ministry Institute na matatagpuan sa NLEX Valenzuela Exit, Paso de Blas, Valenzuela City. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon sa gawain ng IAMI, mari ninyong i-browse ang IAMI Facebook o bisitahin ang aming website www.iamai.ph Sa pangalan po ng programang Radyo IAMI Facebook Live, kasama ng ating tagapagturo, Bishop Emmy, ako si Pastora Jo na sa inyo'y nagpapaalala. Tayo'y lumago at magpatuloy sa biyaya ng Diyos. Music